Okay, I just want to do a quick video share of a few small junk journals that I'm working on. Because I have a customer coming over to look at what I have available, I thought I'd share these before they possibly get sold. So the first one is this little follow your heart. I'm just going to check if I'm in frame. Stay in frame. Okay. Get a stay. Okay. So it's one of my little bear spirit dolls. And it's got a little pocket here with some of my paper dolls in it. I didn't do much to this. I didn't add a lot of pages to this one. I gessoed that page. Put some tissue paper and some strips there, some washi tape. I'm trying to do kind of more kid-friendly stuff because, um, I mean, I like it, but also, and then there's a pocket with some goodies in there, and that's the back, and it comes with this little mini scrap pack, and my, my logo is on the back, so that, and then it just gets bound together with an elastic band, so there's that one. Then there's this one. It's an altered book, which I turned into an art journal. I use my my logo stamp to stamp my logo, and I just glued this on and put a little, um, I don't know what you call these kind of pins, light bulb pins, I don't know. <laughs> but I put a couple little charms on there. Am I in frame? I might zoom out just a little bit. Okay, and um, inside, of course, there's a little pocket with a bunch of goodies. This is just like stuff from my stash of um, stuff that is not my own artwork. And then I also put in some of my own artwork, like this fox paper doll, which is one of mine, this little handmade spirit doll here that I made with um, just ink and um, marker and pencil crayon and it also stuck in one of my um, paper dolls that you can color yourself and then the rest are all just other stuff that I had in my stash so there we go so let's do a little flip through I didn't do a whole bunch of stuff to this, so I kept it pretty simplistic as well. Um, I took out a few of the pages, I gessoed this page, <clears throat> put a doily down. I inked that doily with some sepia archival ink, <clears throat> added this um, little card, and then I just took my ballpoint pen and just kind of framed it out, added a little flower and some grass. Um, I made this little altered um, paper clip with some scrap fabric and a button and then these are just my wallflower punches that I punched out with my flower punch and I got a bunch of wall um, <coughs> wallpaper and so I've been just using it for added ephemera to my journal kits. This one I just put some tissue paper down. I uh, put this border and I inked the edges and then I just threw this pretty floral um, paper that I got from a, I don't even know what they're called, embroidery kit I think or something. I have to double check what those are. I think it's an embroidery kit. Um, this was like on a piece of cardstock, a bunch of houses that I got at our dollar store. So I just cut it out and glued it on and then I gessoed that page. And then here I just did a bunch of paint and a napkin. 
and a little bit of stamping. And that's just tissue paper, like the patterns, pattern paper that you get in the patterns. Another piece of tissue paper. So again, really simplistic, nothing. I threw some washi tape down there because it was a little, the threads were kind of coming out. Um, these are from a magazine. They're just pictures of plates. So I just cut them out and glued them on. And then I just took my ballpoint pen and did some swirly circles or whatever <laughs> around them. Threw some washi tape down there. And that's it for that one. So I like how it turned out. Pretty cute. Then there's this one. So this was actually already a kit. It was a journal making kit. Everything was put together in the kit. It was, this was what it was in close to my heart. And it came with stickers and a bunch of other things that you can decorate with. So what I did is I mixed media the front and back. Put one of my paper faces and one of my handmade um, hearts from my printables that I made recently. Then I just covered the inside with this pretty paper. I did a little bit of dotting on that page. Again, I kept it really simplistic. Some sp I stamped these spirals on here and threw some tissue paper down and stamped a little bit there. And then again, some stamping with a little bit of paint and threw this pocket in with some stuff for decorating the journal with. But that's all I did. I kept it really simple. Okay. Oh, and I also um, threw some paint on the string, just some different color paint and some black. And then these were hearts, sticker hearts that I had in my sticker stash. So I just put those on. I added a little tiny glue in between just to make sure it stays in place, but I thought that looked really cute with that. So tomorrow I'm making a, doing a junk journal class at our local library here in Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, Canada, which is where I'm based out of. <clears throat> so these are the kind of journals we'll be making for the class tomorrow. So this one, um, I'm actually turning this one into a kit, but um, it's the same. There's the back. Um, it's the same as these ones. Never give up. And then for this one, I just added a little pocket. That's from the wallpaper I got. I, a lot of the wallpaper I got had like these border strips on the wallpaper. So I cut all those strips out. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I'll show you in another video one time. But um, so I cut out all the border, like the parts that had that look like it had a border on it and I've been using them in my art and they make really good pockets so yeah just this one had each of these journals only have two signatures and I just tied them in with um twine this really pretty pretty twine it has it's got this like gold um string in it and so Gave it a little ponytail and I really like how it turned out. And it's just a cereal box, right? Like a lot of us make our journals from scratch. And then this one says self care isn't selfish. And it's pretty cute. And then this one says shine your weird light the world needs it and I made some monsters um, about a month ago and I was inspired by Little Raven ink so I made like five different styles and they were just so fun to make I definitely want to make those again it was totally out of my comfort zone and it reminded me of when I was a when I was a child, when I was in grade five, I made this really cool monster, an underwater monster and oh, mythical creature. Let's just say mythical creature. 
and it got chosen to be displayed in the, the closest city to where I lived. I grew up in Christopher Lake, Saskatchewan. The closest city to there is Prince Albert. So, you know, it was a kind of a big deal for me as a child. I should have known then that I was going to be an artist, but I'm a late bloomer and I didn't become an artist till later in my life. But then here's the other one. So I'm just keeping these super simplistic. These, oops. Okay, let's get rid of that one. No. So there's nothing you know, crazy special about these journals are just super simplistic, but really cute. So I will be teaching people how to make these tomorrow at our local library. And then I've been working on these. They're not done yet. So, but I'm going to give you a sneak peek. These are two of my wallpaper journals that I should have zoomed in or more there. That's better. Too much glare there. <clears throat> so I'll start with this one. I absolutely love this one. I love this one more than this one. But um, so this these are wallpaper journals. And I was inspired by the Painted Witch to make kind of more of a grungy style journal because I just love her journals. I actually bought one of her, her mini journals recently. And this is it. I just love her style. And I want to try to do more things out of my comfort zone. So, and I just love her style. So I was like, you know what? This is my attempt at <laughs> being a little bit grungy, even though it's not completely grungy. I think it turned out pretty good because it's totally out of my comfort zone. So I still have a lot to do with this journal. I still have a lot of um, things to do. I have to add a tie. I have to add ephemera. Fill the pockets. I always do one journal spread in all of my custom. Uh, I'm in the I can't talk. All of my handmade journals now, so I have to pick a page that I want to to do some artwork on. And yeah, there's there's a lot. Oh, this one has to be cut open still. This is an em pattern pattern envelope, so let's cut that piece off. There we go. This is my grandson's artwork. So this one has two signatures. More of my grandson's artwork. Once it's available, I will post it on my Facebook page, the Me Art by the Metis Mama, or my Instagram, which is, I don't post a lot of stuff for sale on Instagram, but you can always message me. Um, mostly post them on my Facebook page. Um, this is the other one. So again, w with these, I, you know, I sewed in the signatures, and then I just kind of did some more stitch work on the spine because I just wanted to thought it'd be something fun to add to it I'm not in love with it I won't do it again but it's on there now and I'm not gonna change it or take it off <laughs> somebody will like it so here is um, the second one This one has, I'm going to add one more signature to this. This only got three or two right now. So I still have to add the third one. 
But there you have it. Tomorrow, if I can make it happen, I am going to attempt to do a spirit doll. Um, I'll show you guys. Okay. So here are some of my spirit dolls. Um, tomorrow I'm going to try to film a video about these dolls. I am going to talk about, I'm going to do a series. So the first series is going to be me talking about spirit dolls, what they are, how I started making them, why I make them, and how they're help for help how they have helped me in my healing journey um so this is just one example this i call these bundle wrapped spirit dolls um this one is also a bundle wrapped spirit doll sometimes i put medicines on them and if i do that i call them medicine dolls so i mean they're all medicine dolls though they're all magic right so um this one's made with ribbon skirt scraps. So in our indigenous um, teachings, we have skirt teachings. So um, I don't know if I'll share that in the videos that I have coming, but I will at some point. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this one a, has a clay face, a little moon face. I made this one at our, my last spirit doll workshop, which was on Ochi's First Nation, which is here close to Rocky Mountain House. I uh, always enjoy going out there. Such a nice drive. I really like how this one turned out. I don't typically gravitate to yellow, but for some reason, my soul needed yellow that day and green. So, and then here's another one with some um, driftwood. Um, different face and you know what you guys I can't find my face mold for the life of me I've looked everywhere and I have no idea where it is so I have some searching more searching to do but um, so yeah I will do some talking about these dolls in a separate video but I just wanted to give you a heads up that these are coming um, and we're going to be doing a video on how to make them so that people who buy my spirit doll kits like this, I'll show you those too. Where is my spirit doll kits? Oh, I don't have them. I forgot. I gave my last two to a shop here in Rocky Mountain House that is going to be, um, that I have stuff on consignment. And I, show, I think I showed you guys these at my, in my last um, video, but again, I'm making, turning all of these into little journaling packs like this, this one. So the bigger ones are going to get turned into something like this. They'll come with a scrap pack, an elastic band to keep them closed. And then these ones are going to be getting turned into mini junk journal packs because I am sold out of those now. So I've got to make new ones. So that is what I'm working on today. And I shared these, I think, in my last video. So, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys again.